What's up guys, my name is Carlos Berto. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. For those of you who haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you do. And if you happen to be subscribed and you see that the notification bell isn't on or you're not getting notifications, please make sure you hit that bell button because then you'll be alerted every time I upload a YouTube video. So thank you guys for doing that. So today what I want to do is talk to you guys about hair trends and especially hair trends for wavy to curly hair people because that's what I have and that's what I understand. So I want to do a video for five top 2019 wavy to curly men's hair trends video with photos and I'm going to discuss those five different hairstyles with you guys and show you pictures and uh, share with you guys what my thoughts are and what the trends are looking like. So let's go ahead and begin this video right now. I feel like nowadays a lot of people are actually going for this fuller hair uh, style and there's actual challenges that Blue Mon's doing and other people are letting their hair grow out. I see a lot of people growing their hair out to explore more of their length and I think that's a very good idea and that's awesome because there's just more room for uh, new hairstyles to arrive and also people are just actually looking at their hair and wanting to do something different not just cut it all off. So, so that's why today I curated five different hairstyles that work well with curly to wavy hair style and also if you guys have wavy or curly hair make sure you hit that thumbs up button and let me know down below who has wavy who has curly hair so i could do videos according to those comments just to, just to let me know thank you the first haircut that i want to share with you guys is the haircut that's a little bit more skewed towards the 2018 hairstyle which is that very low barbershop uh skin fade that people want to kind of step away from we know that it's done well we know that it looks very good but I feel like there's different variations and different things you could do with that type of uh, hair cutting uh, style. So this first haircut right here, this guy has wavy to curly hair. As you can see, it's tousled to the front. It's textured on top. The sides are just thrown forward. It's a little bit like the one I have right now, but this one's a little bit shorter in the photo right here. Um, the sides are a little bit low. It's like almost like a very low fade around the ear the occipital bone is still very defined hair fade doesn't begin until uh, after the occipital bone and only down the neckline so still has a very uh, full and defined illusion around the head but the top is tussled and textured and tossed forward and as you can see if you have curlier hair this is a, a variation for you as well this guy has a low taper you could see some skin but it's not super bald uh, the hair length is still a little bit of a medium hair length it's probably around four inches this is a good variation if you want to slick your hair back, but you want to maintain that clean bald side um, that isn't too short. So still gives you that fade illusion. It still is. It, it, it technically is a fade, but uh, it isn't too short and it's a little bit more modern. Uh, as you can see, this guy with the handlebar mustache uh, has his hair slicked back. So essentially, this is probably the same length as the two guys that I showed you uh, with the same hairstyle, but uh, this guy just slicks it back. So this is a good variation. Uh, that you could actually do when you have longer hair on top. That's haircut number one. So haircut number two is a little bit more voluminous. It's a little bit more full. It's full on the top. It's full on the sides. Uh, the sides aren't necessarily cut with a clipper. This is probably done better with scissors. And you want to go to a hairstylist to do this. Uh, it's very defined on the top and the sides. It's still all blended together. As you can see, this dude in this photo has uh, a longer top and it's kind of thrown to the side. So it has a directional, it has a purpose. The quiff does have a purpose. And this is more for someone who wants to maintain this uh, quiff all the time. Um, it's not as versatile because when they cut it, especially when you have wavy or curly hair, uh, the hairstylist is going to do some point cutting, which is going to direct where your hair falls. So this is kind of more of like the timeless conservative hairstyle, uh, kind of like the David Gandy. This guy right here definitely reminds me like a David Gandy haircut, which is super dope. And if you have semi waves, uh, but still want that longer look as well, here's another variation for that hair type. Um, very easy, very effortless. Uh, and it's just that very classic quiff uh, with the short sides, but not not bald sides. Um, and this is just a timeless haircut. And this, like I said, very modern modern hairstyle without uh, you know losing its class and, and and still a little bit of a a little bit of an edge because of the messier top. So haircut number two, definitely big fan. So haircut number three, as you can see, this cut is very balanced. It's very defined as well uh, from the top and the sides. And it seems like this guy's just growing his hair out a lot longer. As you can see, the sides are very well kept and groomed. It blends into the beard very well. It's still very groomed. It's still very tapered. The top has more of an enhanced curl that kind of flows over his head, over his forehead a little bit, a little bit more messy, a little bit more textured, tussled, but it still has a nice shape and definition to it. Uh, if you have more of a curly uh, hair length, but the same hair length, 
um this guy right here also has a very cool hair length and you can see that it's still balanced as well with this with the sides because the sides are a little bit more tapered a little bit more contoured to his head and the top is a little bit more messier so it still has some scissor work being done and i think it's just more of a classy elegant style um and here is more of if your hair is in between wavy and curly um then this is just a messier toss forward uh hairstyle but still very clean covers the ears and just looks very well kept and i think the big thing about this hairstyle is getting some weight cut off so for hairstyle number three you want to make sure that um you're consulting with your hairstylist or barber to take some weight off to give you some texture to point cut and just let them know where you want the hair to fall and how you want it to fall because that's what point cutting does and i think that that's key when you're letting your hair go out a little bit longer just making sure that you uh, are doing it correctly and, and and there's things that you could do with it that uh, is going to allow you to still maintain the longer hairstyle but also keep it healthy as you do it so definitely hairstyle number three is really sick and uh yeah i think i think it looks very sick and i think people are doing a little bit of a longer hairstyle and i think this is definitely the way to go haircut number four now haircut number four is more of a is more for those gentlemen who don't really want to maintain their hair they don't really care for a really particular hairstyle they don't really care about using products and or, or, or maintaining and upkeeping a hairstyle so this is a very classic haircut hairstyle a lot of runway models do this because it's less maintenance it goes with a lot of things it goes with a lot of styles it's not like super short on the side super edgy it's more of a very contemporary very very conservative hairstyle uh still very edgy as well because it does elongate your face it brings out your facial features which is awesome because i know a lot of guys want to enhance their facial features and this is a great way to do it so this hairstyle right here this guy has a very short top and shorter sides still the sides are not bald and it still contours its face his face very well as you can see the top is probably around one inch but you could see the definition of the curls still coming into play which is why curls are so awesome or wavy hair because you're still going to have definition even if it's shorter this is kind of like the alternative to a crew cut so if you don't want to cut it completely short where your hair is about a half inch long but if you still want to maintain that length and have a little bit of texture on top and still allow yourself to have a, 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 a hairstyle quote unquote without having to do a lot of work this is definitely the way to go as you can see this is more for uh, the person with curlier haircut but still want it short and it's still clean it's still classic this dude as you can see his face is very slim uh everything is more contoured his neck his his, his neck his jawline uh his ears and all that so here's a side view of that curly haircut uh nice little clean taper but still just very clean and elegant sophisticated nothing too crazy not too much work not maintenance not too much maintenance needed at all and this haircut will probably last you a lot longer than the other three hair the other four haircuts that i discussed so definitely number four is a great alternative for those people who just don't want to do anything with their hair but just look cool in a very convenient manner so haircut number four i'm with you so haircut number five is a nice curly bang wavy bang and this is more for a uh a, this is more for like a younger man this is for more for like a younger man vibe uh it's you have your hair you have a little bit more texture you can tussle it uh it has a little bit more definition to it there's more on top than on the sides but there's still some length on the sides it's kind of like a very neat grungy look uh it's like you don't get a haircut but it's very well kept so i think that that's pretty fun that's pretty fun to have when you have like a longer hair it's still kept very nicely but it seems like you're not getting haircuts and it just looks natural so this is a very natural haircut hairstyle uh this guy has a very wavy uh very wavy bangs still textured a lot of texture on top and the sides are still longer almost covering his ear almost covering half of his ears which uh just makes it look a lot better and like i said it's very neat but still messy at the same time and as you can see you can still achieve other other hairstyles with this hair length like this guy right here who has uh, like a, a very clean pompadour and the sides are held down with some product it's still nice it looks neat and it's versatile because your hair is longer you have that length on top that you're not cutting off and you also have a little bit of length on the side to uh, help define and balance the top from the sides so I think that this is a very cool hairstyle to consider um, if you want to have fun if you want a versatile haircut if you don't mind having a lot of length on top uh, this messy bang is probably around four to five inches even more six inches on top so like this photo right here is still shorter on the sides but if he slicks it back it's still gonna seem like the haircut and hairstyle that he has is made for uh, going back so definitely like the versatility on number five obviously it's a little bit longer it's a little bit messier uh, the sides aren't cut too short and they're almost the same length on top as the sides but they're just blended very well but they're not quite the same length so 
Number five, super sick. I feel like I kind of had that last time and then I ruined it because I cut my hair. So there you guys have it. That is what I have for you guys today. I tried to share with you guys the range of curls and waves. I hope you guys found this helpful and insightful. Uh, three photos per slide. And uh, yeah, guys, I also uploaded a video yesterday um, with my recent haircut. So if you guys haven't seen that yet, please make sure you go check that out. And um, also I have a video on how to maintain your hair um, in between cuts, which is right up there. So if you guys want to do it at home or have someone do it for you, that's just an easy way to, to make sure that your hair is uh, staying clean and well maintained and groomed. Uh, other than that, guys, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know what hairstyle you like the most down below, which one you're rocking with, which one you're not rocking with, or which one you're currently, uh, or what hairstyle you're currently wearing right now. So comment down below. Thank you so much. My Instagram is at Roberto. If anyone's interested, uh, feel free to follow me, engaging on there as well. So thank you guys so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. Subscribe, hit that notification bell button, and don't forget to push down everything. Peace out, guys.